Pabst, <coughs> Blue Ribbon, it was just straight out of the can. Of course, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> nurse. And hey, welcome back to the beer garden where it is a December brisk day here, a fantastic day to drink beer. And if you're here because you like beer, and let's be honest, why else would you be? Go ahead and tap that subscribe button down below. We'd love to have you along for the ride. And coming up at the end of this brew review, I'm going to rate Paps Blue Ribbon Beer out of five stars. How good a cheap beer is PBR? Now, I'll tell you what prompted this revisit. I sort of forgot that I did Paps Blue Ribbon is one of my very first videos on this channel. And I was going through the comments as I always do and I got called out by a member of the Pabst family. Fattiest Pabst, I'm not sure exactly where he lies in the succession of takeover of the brewery, I'm not sure. I took him at his word, his last name is Pabst, and uh, he thought it was being a little rude on my very first review of PBR from, again, it was a number of years ago. And I went back and I watched it and I was like, well, you know, he may be right. And it's been a number of years since I had tried PBR and reviewed it. And so I figured, hey, let's do a revisit because all of our tastes change uh, as we get older. Uh, a beer we may have not liked before, you know, we may like now. So uh, let's go ahead and do this revisit. Also in the previous revisit, I just chugged it straight out of the can. Now, of course, I will be pouring the PBR into my sold out uh, Beer Snobs Cheap Brew Review pint glasses topped off nicely with the official uh, Royal German Bavarian beer glass deckel uh, to keep uh, any of the leaves that are left on the trees uh, from falling into my beer. All right, let's go ahead and pop the top and see what we got on this 16 ounce Peeber. Cheap brew review. I got this for, I got this for uh, two six packs for $12 at Kroger. Now, uh, so this is pints. So uh, a six pack of 16 ounce pints for $6. Hey, you really can't beat that, and it uh, does qualify for a cheap brew. This is one of those cans where they feature a certain artist, and this uh, can created by Tommy Tarvonen. Tommy Tarvonen. We'll have to give you a hashtag and get some more mileage out of this algorithm. Uh, very nice. All right, let's go ahead and give PBR a pour. Uh, you need to go back and watch my early first review of PBR. I think I called it out for saying it was it was an okay beer, but uh, the hipsters are, are pricing out the beer. They've really run up the price with the exception of my uh, $6 for a six pack of, of pints. I, I thought it was an okay brew. I don't remember the score I gave it. So after you watch this revisit, uh, do me a favor, go back and watch the original and uh, see what you think. All right. Of course, I think uh, I also called out PBR for being like the number one beer established in Milwaukee in 1844. It won, selected as America's best beer in 1893. And I think I said that it tasted like 1893 or something like that. I was probably having a bad day. I don't know. So, uh, Let's go ahead and give it a nose, shall we? As I uh, noticed, and you, many of you are commenting on the uh, Leather Patch Richardson's Trucker Cap uh, we sport here. Also sold out. We're working on it. Maybe more in the new year. Uh, but yeah, you really do get that typical college bar beer smell to it. Uh, I smell some adjuncts in there. Uh, maybe some rice. It smells like a little bit of corn syrup could be in there as well. Not really sensing any high quality ingredients, uh, but it does sort of, uh, and believe me, I lived in Athens, Georgia for about seven, eight years, so I know what a cheap college bar smells like. All right, it's time to pop the top, see what we got for the liquid to hit the lips. It is time. I don't want to drink alone, so uh, hey, grab yourself a beer. Cheers. PBR Revisit. Now, it is a December day, as I mentioned, it's in the low 50s, so it's already a little chill in the air. And what I found with PBR, it's, it's a good beer to drink really cold. 
Uh, if you're drinking it around room temperature or slightly below room temperature, uh, some certain notes come out of it that are, are not my favorite types of notes. Uh, okay, look at the lacing. Now, uh, my previous brew review on Pabst, <coughs> Blue Ribbon, it was just straight out of the can. And I didn't notice the lacing on that. Of course, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> nurse. Uh, lacing does show some sign of uh, quality, so I'll give you that. Uh, overall, Pabst Blue Ribbon is not as bad as I remember it being. I don't remember it being awful. I just thought it tasted kind of cheap. Uh, I thought it was a little overpriced for what it was. Uh, overall, if, if you like cheap beers, I also think I called it a, a trailer park standard. Uh, it may be a little harsh. But it does throw you back to 18 and 93 when it won some sort of award selected America's Best. It's been around since 1844 from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And uh, um, it was a good middle of the road cheap beer. I think if you're going to grab a PBR, you know what you're going to get. I don't think anybody's going to be expecting, you know, the craft award winner for 2023 at all uh, when you get it. I think uh, who would be drinking this? I would say probably uh, middle-aged men over the age of 45, uh, grandfathers, um, hipsters overpricing this in uh, certain bars in Brooklyn. I have a question and comment down below if you would. If you drink PBR, are you drinking it because you really like it or are you trying to impress someone by drinking PBR? I, in my opinion, if someone is drinking PBR in public, they're just doing it uh, to get a reaction out of somebody, to try to be seen drinking PBR because yeah, it's an iconic American beer. Uh, you, you look at it, you're like, oh, hey, yeah, PBR. I like it. I mean, how many other beers do you know that could be known by uh, the first letters of each word in their name? Coming up in just a couple of seconds here, I'm going to rate PBR out of five stars. How good a cheap beer is it? In the meantime, please uh, subscribe down below if you haven't already. Also, join our group on Facebook at Beer Snobs Cheap Brew Review. We're also on Instagram and TikTok. Eh. I forgot to mention the ABV, 4.7%, $6 for a six pack of 16 ounce pints. All right, out of five stars, where am I gonna rate this cheap brew as called out by Thaddeus Pabst, one of the Pabst uh, family members? And I hope you're not yanking my chain. I'm on taking this on good faith that you're actually one of the Pabst uh, brewery members, one of the people in line to inherit the brew. So out of five stars, I'm going to have to do this revisit of PBR, and perhaps this is a sign that I am uh, growing and maturing as a beer snob. Again, I don't remember what I rated it the first time. Probably should have watched that before I did this brew review, but I didn't want to uh, sway the jury. So out of five stars, I'm going to give Paps Blue Ribbon this revisit clocks in at a 3.01. Nine out of five stars. I, I didn't even know we could break it down that far, but we just did. All right. Hey, again, thank you for supporting this channel growing organically. I don't pay for followers. And uh, so, hey, please tap that subscribe button, share on your social media pages. We would love to have you along. You know a friend who loves beer? Please turn them on to the channel. Love to have them and uh, love to hear your uh, responses below. Also, uh, love suggestions of what beer you would like to see me review. And also, if you are in a beer family, if you're one of the family members of a well-known, iconic American beer, like Thaddeus Pabst is when he called me out in the, uh, in the comments down on the very first brew review of PBR, please comment down below. I'd love to uh, uh, try your family's beer as well. In the meantime, it's a beautiful December day here in the beer garden. So don't just sit there. Grab yourself a beer and you drink that beer. Cheers. <laughs>